People, we're getting very serious today about the bathroom. But first I have to go to the store to get supplies. I just trudge through the slushy, wet snow for two reasons. One, true love. Two, supplies. Today I'm going to conquer my bathroom with these sponges, this cleaner, these light bulbs, and this energy drink. I also got my husband a very nice record and Valentine for Valentine's Day, in case you were wondering what the true love part was. For those of you that have never cleaned a bathroom before, prepare to be schooled. Most bathrooms can be broken down into six categories. Tub, shower, toilet, counter and sink unit, floor, and extras. Extras are things like the walls, the trim, the windowsill, any extra dusting and cleaning out cabinets. You shouldn't have to do these things every single week, but you should do some of them each week. Otherwise, they'll all pile up and become way too overwhelming. When I clean a bathroom, I usually tackle the shower and the tub first because I hate doing them. They're like a massive project. And I just like to take everything and stick it in the center of the tub. That's empty. Then it's good to lift the curtain and put it up here so that it's out of the way when you clean that part. And then while I'm at it, I'm actually gonna grab everything off the counters and put it in here. I'm gonna move the rugs and the trash can. And now everything is pretty bare and I can just start cleaning. So I like to take this Usually I use scrubbing bubbles, but this was the off-brand and I'm hoping that it worked just as well. And I just coat the shower. Make sure to get the corners. And I'll also do down in the bath. Then I just let that sit for a while. Look, the toilet, this is two relatively clean people. If there's one thing that you clean every week in your bathroom, let it be your toilet. It's not even hard, you just take this stuff. Usually I buy the kind without bleach because bleach is my worst enemy, but this was all they had. And all you have to do is let it sit for a second. And then I use this all over the rest of the toilet. I do not hold back. And then I just come in with copious amounts of paper towels and wipe it all clean. And I know that I should do this with gloves, but I feel like I have more control without them, so I just wash my hands a million times. Yay! Perfect. If you don't want to get chemicals on your butt, you can take a wet paper towel and just do one last wipe of the seat to protect your precious skin. Voila! Now I'm moving on to the counter mirror unit. You can do this with a rag or a paper towel. There is some debate as to which is better for the environment, I really just don't know. Also, let's take a moment to admire my adorable toothbrush holders. I feel very strongly about hiding toothbrushes. I don't like to see them on the counter. Okay, as I've been working on everything else, my scrubbing bubbles have been soaking on the shower walls and in the tub. And so now I'm going to take this sponge 
anything with a rough surface will work. Just make sure you don't, I don't know, I just trust scotch Bright. Hard water has to be scrubbed off at least every other week, otherwise it just becomes a huge project to get it off. And to be perfectly honest with you, I usually do this part butt naked in the shower because it's just so much more convenient and I hate ruining my clothes. But for your benefit, I'm going to do it clothed. Sorry if that disappoints anybody. By the way, this is the best shower caddy I have ever had in my life. It doesn't rest, it looks good even with hard water spots, and it's pretty stable. <coughs> Alright, for the final step of cleaning, we have to do the floor. It's a horrible task, but it's very necessary. I always clean the base of the toilet and I'll usually do it at the same time that I'm cleaning the floor just because I only want to get on my hands and knees once. I try not to use too much cleaner because I don't want the floor to get sticky but I definitely do use some on the toilet. This side. And I am using paper towels again and also I'm using a lot of paper towels because these paper towels are really bad and so it takes a lot of them to keep from tearing. And then I always make sure to get behind the toilet too. I promise you, if you clean this, your self-esteem will go up. But I'm not gonna film it because I need two hands. Okay, my two extra things I'm going to do today are change the light bulbs because as you can see, they've got some problems. <laughs> and then I'm also going to wipe down the edge of the top tile of my shower because it's really dusty. Okay, now that everything's clean, I get to do the fun part, which is update a couple things in my bathroom. You may have noticed that what I'm using to hang up my shower curtain right now are just these little white plastic rings. And so I'm going to replace them with these nicer looking metal ones. Next, I'm going to redo the decor a little bit. Let me show you. I have these super cute shelves to go over the toilet. They're super easy to build. You just take the plastic off, open the packaging, and then I measure just one centimeter in from each edge and marked it with a pencil on each side and then I'm going to draw a line and that's how I'll know where to align the brackets. a level pencil and ruler to measure out where I'm gonna put this. And there it is, a newly cleaned and newly decorated bathroom. Ignore my empty planter. I'll probably fill that next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if it gave you some inspiration. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more. See you next week.